If you've ever been to any spicy websites within the past half a decade, you'd know who this is. From Near Automata, 2B and her 2Bs have infiltrated every corner of the internet, from fan arts to your favourite games. But apart from the immense amount of Kumarvate, the Nier series has a few more things that it should be more well known for. Complex characters, major existential crises, and last but definitely not least, amazing music. When Nier Orchestra, the end of Data, concert series was announced, there was no hesitation. After already missing the first round of orchestras back in 2020, I knew there was absolutely no guarantee that there would be a next round of orchestras, ever. Having the chance to hear a live professional orchestra play songs from Near Automata and Near Replicant, come on. I packed my bags, got on a flight, and prepared myself for Thailand. Thailand is an amazing place, and it wouldn't be right to delegate it to just one of the Near Orchestra visit locations. The food, the culture, the people is something that's hard to find anywhere else. And so, besides the orchestra, I made sure to dip my toes in and have just a small taste of what this country has to offer. This is the Chatuchat Weekend Market. With over 15,000 different stores, it's the world's largest weekend market. From flip-flops to potted plants or wooden carvings, the scale of this place is indescribable. Seriously, whatever I have on video is nothing compared to the true size of this place. Anything and everything that could be sold, you can find here. Bargain for some rugs, watch sunburnt tourists flitter around the stalls. It really is a microcosm of what Bangkok has to offer. If you're still hesitant to brave the great outdoors and take a visit, there's still one big, big reason to come to Chatuchat. The food. Stalking through the endless alleys while eating mooping pork skewers on the hunt for another bowl of boat noodles or fried bananas Thai cuisine is one of the most diverse in Southeast Asia. Sour, sweet, spicy, sometimes special. I can make an entire video on the food, and it still wouldn't be enough to show you just how damn good it is. Thai cuisine is a great contender for one of the best Asian cuisines, and best cuisines in general. Chatuchat is a fantastic place to have it all in one convenient, delicious location. Also, pro tip, this is what you look out for when you enter an Asian restaurant. No advertisement, not a single foreigner inside, and no one can speak English. You got kids doing homework in the back, the place hasn't been renovated in 20 years, and there's an elderly grandmother sitting in the recliner overseeing the entire operation. You see these things? Trust me, you're gonna have a good time. One thing I was not expecting from Thailand was how weebish you guys are. Just next to Chatuchat Market is Mixed Mall that provided well-needed air conditioning from the heat. But don't spend too much time by the elephant pants or the Dairy Queen. Head up to the second floor. Rows and rows and rows of display cases full of figurines and other wonderful anime goodies to get lost in. You could spend an hour or two, easily, just slowly walking around and soaking in the sights. It was as if a slice of Akihabara or Nakano Broadway was plucked out of Tokyo and transplanted here, living in the shadow of the amazing market next door. I don't know if this is considered a hidden gem or anything, but if you're ever in the area, you have to check it out. Oh, speaking of weebish activities, Swing by the Animate Bangkok store if you're ever in the area. Animate, one of Japan's biggest anime merch stores, has a few branches around the world. 
and Thailand is fortunate enough to have two of them, one in the center of Bangkok. Pure, authentic manga, art books, acrylic stands, everything, all for sale. The manga is all in Thai, but it's 100% legit, and hey, maybe it's time to learn a new language. There's also a wall of signatures from famous mangaka, celebrating the opening of the store. Definitely worth checking out after hitting the local Don Quixote for some good old fashioned Japanese snacks. But I decided I should actually touch some grass, so I put down the booby figurines and decided to do something a little more uniquely local. Muay Thai, or Thai kickboxing, is the national sport of Thailand, and fights are immensely popular with the locals. There are many places to view matches in Thailand, with some tickets costing hundreds of dollars. But here's a little hack to all my penniless fellas out there. The Channel 7 Boxing Stadium hosts Muay Thai fights every Sunday, completely free for all to watch, provided you can come early enough to snatch a seat. So if you're a good traveller, you definitely want to come early and stick to the dress code of button-up shirt and long pants. If all goes well, get ready to pack yourself into a dark stadium, shoulder to shoulder with a bunch of locals, to watch a few oiled up athletes beat the living shit out of each other. It was glorious. Amazing national sport aside, there was a lot of money being passed around at the event. Having to help pass around stacks of cash from one screaming bookie to another, it really doesn't get any more authentic than this. Prince Mahidol Concert Hall is located in Mahidol University just a short 20 kilometers away from the center of Bangkok, sitting on the outskirts of the city, which means being stuck for an hour in lovely Southeast Asian traffic. The concert officially started at 4.30 p.m., but already three hours before, there was a crowd queuing up at the merch line, and they had really good stuff on sale. So, with my meager savings, I debated getting once-in-a-lifetime merchandise over actually being able to eat that night. It was not a debate. Food is temporary. 2D waifus are forever. But of course, just as I reached the front of the merch line to hand in my order, the most iconic bit of Nia merch, the Holy Grail, gets sold out right in front of me. The 2B plushie. Fuck. Fortunately, I still managed to get my hands on a few items, including this very lovely record. I don't even own a record player. I would have gotten the full set of records. I would have cleaned out the damn booth, honestly. But it was either that or the flight back home from Thailand. And I didn't know where the local organ market was so I could get a quick cash injection. If you went to the orchestra but you didn't manage to get the items you wanted, it's not over just yet. Most of these merchandise are actually available on the Square Enix website. But some items, like the concert-specific shirts, are exclusively available at the merch store at the concert venues. Heads up for those going to the remaining shows, line up for merch early, plan your money usage well, actually screw it, just buy it all, just buy it all. After forfeiting my mortal possessions for Android Girls, it was time to walk around the hall, which pretty much became a mini convention exclusively focused around Nia. And we can't talk about a con without the cosplay. To all the cosplayers I met, Thank you so much for not calling the cops on me when I awkwardly stared at you for 10 minutes trying to gather the courage to ask for a photo. I'm glad I did though, because the cosplays were absolutely amazing, and I received some fantastic photos, as well as the award for the creepiest photographer in the venue.
if you're new to Neo and haven't had the chance to listen to the soundtracks, which shouldn't be the case, please go and listen to it right now. But if you listen to it, you'd realize something. You have no idea what the lyrics mean. The songs are all in the Chaos language, a language that the singer, Amy Evans, came up with. So pretty much, no one understands the music except for her. Well, her and probably this guy. Having an entire soundtrack with lyrics being understood by pretty much no one in the world takes some serious cojones to do. But when done right, it gives the opportunity to create one of the most enchanting soundtracks in video game history, and one of the most captivating orchestras I've ever had the pleasure of hearing. After the last show in DC, there probably won't be another near orchestra again. Everything that lives is designed to end, after all. That just makes it all the more important to treasure the times you have now, and seize every opportunity as if it's your last. And I'll take this opportunity to thank Yoko Taro for creating this entire series, and the whole universe around it. Because these android girls are my universe. After all, it's not all just about the ass and the cooler bait. It's not just about the upskirts and Source Filmmaker looped animation Silence videos. Went. Your universe, your waifu, must be more than just a compilation of questionable tags online. You need a waifu that not only fills your hands, but also your heart.